Oh, oh, boy, maybe we'll get to see it this time. Waiting for the train to bring Barney? Mm, she sure is, Kenneth. <gasps> Speaking of trains, I just read a wonderful train story just the other day. Will you tell us, please? I'd love to, Baby Bob. <laughs> this is the story of the little engine that could. Oh, oh look, you have everything here I need to help me tell my story. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> chug, chug, puff, puff, puff. Ding dong, ding dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toy animals and dolls and the funniest little clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toys and picture puzzles and books and every kind of thing boys and girls could want. But that's not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of things for boys and girls to eat. The little train was carrying all of these wonderful things to the little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. Then all of a sudden, she stopped. She tried and tried, but her wheels would not turn. Just then, a shiny new engine was passing by. The little clown asked him for help. But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you? Indeed not. I am a passenger engine. And off he steamed. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then a tired and rusty old engine chugged by. The dolls and toys asked him for help. But the rusty old engine sighed. 